Hi guys. Hey, uh, yesterday's cost video, uh, we actually used a tripod. And when we do our openings, uh, I usually just hold the selfie stick. Yes. <laughs> so Wilma had a great idea and said, hey, why don't we just use the tripod all the time? So you can see our opening is a little bit different Yes. <laughs> uh, because we're using a tripod. So of course, again, Wilma is correct. Uh, so uh, let's get into the uh, selfie challenge. All right, so first up is Barry and Jane from Sydney, Australia. Thanks guys for participating in the uh, selfie challenge. So next up is Bob and Margie from California and they already have property in Downey. That's pretty good. So uh, they will be building their home here in the future and uh, guys we look forward to uh, meeting you. So next up is Judy and Dustin, and they currently reside in Davao, Mindanao. Hey guys, we appreciate you very much uh, participating in the selfie challenge. So just some more reminders, because we've been getting just plain photos of our viewers. So remember what the uh, selfie challenge is about. Send a photo in landscape uh, of yourself or yourself with your significant other um, with our photo uh, either in the background or foreground, TV or on an iPad or a laptop or something like that. So that's the official selfie challenge. Yes. <laughs> but we appreciate you getting all the uh, photos to us. And uh, as we get them, we'll put them together and get them out on our future videos. So we appreciate it very, very much. All right, so uh, next up, I gotta tell you about uh, a little issue that Wilma and I had. <laughs> so someone here at our cul-de-sac had the great idea to dig a trench. And you can kind of see where we're going here. So uh, we went out with a scooter the other day and I seen the trench and it was only about maybe uh, eight inches deep, maybe 10 inches across, and it was right across the entire roadway. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Right out in front of our neighbor's home being built. And I seen it, but too late, so I put on the brakes. And of course, when I put on the brakes, my front tire went into that rut. And then Wilma didn't know that sudden stop was coming. Yeah. So she fell forward, her helmet hit my helmet in the back, uh, and you can see I can't move my shoulder. Mm -hmm. I had my hands on the handlebar, and when she hit forward and the bike stopped, I jolted forward and had a pop right there in the shoulder. So uh, having a little hard time uh, using it, it's not slowing me down. Sleeping has been a little difficult yeah. uh, last night, it was not fun. <laughs> Uh, but unfortunately, uh, a little bit of a problem, a couple Tylenol, you know, a week later I'm going to be fine. But again, hazards of the Philippines. Everywhere. Hazards everywhere. Uh, dogs in the way, people driving the wrong way in the roads. I mean, thank God it was just right here. We didn't fall over, just the front tire went in the rut and we just went from, you know, two mile an hour to a complete stop but my shoulder was trying to hold us up because I didn't want to fall. Yeah. You know, we didn't want to fall over. Obviously, I kept the bike upright, but my shoulder uh, paid the uh, price for that. So, uh, unfortunately, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a pain. A uh, couple things going on. I want to get you guys a real good, thorough puppy update today. Uh, we still have not touched the puppies. So, they're two weeks old, yes. and uh, we do not know the sex of the puppies yet. So what we're gonna do on camera today is for the first time go down there uh, and actually pull the puppies out and try to get their, their sex. So you guys are gonna find out the same time as us. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we also will say one more time to all the local viewers, uh, if you are interested in adopting one of the puppies or both, uh, shoot us a line on Facebook Messenger 
um, at Building the Philippines. Now, we've had two maybes. Two maybes, yeah. Two maybes uh, <laughs> that they may be interested in adopting. So we want them obviously to go to a real good home where they're gonna be taken care of, uh, fed properly, uh, you know, see the vet on occasion when they need to, have their shots. We really want them uh, to find a real, real good home. So again, if you're interested, uh, just shoot us a line. We have two maybes uh, and we'll go from there. So just a couple quick updates uh, of our property and then it's all about the puppy update. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get outside. The weather here has just been absolutely fantastic over the last four days. We have not had any rain day or night uh, for four days in a row. And uh, humidity has been running uh, as a low of 64 and has been in the 60s uh, for more than 24 hours. So just really nice stretch of just beautiful weather. So take a look at the pool, something new. We're putting water in the pool. So that shows you how hot it's been. So I was told um, that typically in the summertime when it's uh, sunny skies here in the Philippines that a typical pool will lose about a half inch of water every 24 hours. So we've been four days, so that's two inches and that's about what we're down, two inches. So uh, we're putting water in today. Uh, the heater itself is working really, really good in this sun, pulling that plastic back. Um, so it's uh, right now the, the pool water is 84 degrees. Now that's partly the heater and partly that laser beam right there. And it's been sunny, like I said, for four days, basically all day. Uh, just really, really nice. So a couple of quick updates. Uh, our Kubo. We've been talking it through uh, how we want to handle this and uh, Wilma and I have had some long conversations and I think we're going to hit the easy button. So what I mean by that, um, the last, uh, about a week ago Wilma and I were out here and I said why don't we just pour a concrete pad, uh, get some uh, black posts, black steel, uh, just like we have here in the uh, carport see the uh, black pipes and just get a native roof built um, with no sides bury them in concrete the posts and just have a concrete pad uh, then the more we thought about it we said oh geez we're gonna have to find a contractor and get cement up here and who knows how long it's gonna take so I think now we're gonna uh, go back to just hit the easy button um, just get a Kubo because we could pick up a Kubo for uh, 25, 30,000 pesos um, and just get four pillars of concrete as footings and then just have it delivered and set in place and it's done. Uh, we just buy it, put in the four uh, footings and you know within an hour it's in place. I think that's the route we're going to take. Uh, again, just hitting the easy button. I think we're uh, trying to get away from big projects, <laughs> especially projects that we got to get involved in. We like the smaller, easier ones. So that's the update on the Kubo, so stay tuned for that. Uh, next up is the big news. Solar. Is solar. Uh, we are close. Uh, we've talked to uh, two more companies. Uh, we've actually talked to a couple freelancers. Uh, we've really dropped the price and I'll wait until uh, it's actually installed. I think we're going to pull the trigger. Uh, actually, we're getting ready to go to a contract. Um, but we're going to source everything ourselves because you save 20% right off the bat by sourcing it yourselves. So we'll get it delivered from Cebu, all the parts. Um, so that'll save us money. And then uh, we actually found someone. Uh, who does installation that'll come up here and install it himself with his team and that's going to save us a lot of money instead of going through um, a company because uh, if you do the math you're going to save or we will save uh, I think the number is 40 percent we'll save 40 percent 
off of uh, all the quotes. And the quotes that we have um, have all been very consistent. So it ain't like we're getting the, the foreigner price anymore uh, because all the companies are uh, giving us the same price. But we actually, looks like we're gonna save about 40%, right? Yes, I think so. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's a lot. So I think we're gonna do it. Um, and uh, you know we're still uh, discussing uh, with the person who do the install. Um, I asked to see uh, one install that he did so I can go uh, visit and uh, talk to the homeowner and see how they like it. And uh, it's all about the brownouts. Yeah. It's really not about cost savings, cost savings even though that's a benefit. Um, we're going to go from his estimation. We're using uh, what we did the uh, budget video yesterday, 4387, 4,387 pesos. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he said you're probably going to get about a 500 peso to a thousand peso bill. So let's go on the high side, a thousand. So that's twenty dollars. So our bill will go from eighty dollars a month to twenty. So that's a sixty dollars savings. Um, but when you back into it, it's still what about eight years? Eight year payoff, yeah. uh, which is a lot better than uh, I think the last numbers was like I don't know 14, 16 years, yeah. and we got it down to eight because we're saving. Uh, I think it's like forty percent. Uh, so we're still taking our time, no rush, um, but we will have, I think, 10 panels. Uh, we'll have an inverter. Uh, we'll have um, a 10 KVA battery, uh, all the hookups, all the brackets, all the wires, all the, uh, it's a hybrid inverter. So it's seamless. When you lose power, you won't even know. It just automatically flips over. Uh, and it should be, uh, the battery's large enough. They said on a sunny day, it'll charge in about three, four hours. Uh, definitely charge in a full day if it's uh, a bit cloudy and then uh, that battery will last us the night um, If there is a brownout so and we'll save money at the same time. So stay tuned for that and uh, Let's go find out about those puppies I'm so curious of uh, what the sex is. So let's take a walk All right, so we just had a pretty big scare uh, Wilmo went to the doghouse the puppies are missing. So we said, oh no. So we, we looked all around. Sandy wasn't here. So we said, well, wait a minute. The puppies were here last night, uh, but they're missing. So we uh, yelled out to Sandy and guess what? Sandy moved them back to under a rock. <laughs> so uh, Wilma just found them and we still have not checked the sex. Uh, but Sandy moved them. So I guess, uh, you can take the dog out of the jungle, but you can't take the jungle out of the dog, right? <laughs> so there was the original hole she dug. And look, you can see that she's digging down in there now. But she dug another hole here. You can see some fresh dirt. And the puppies are down there. Wilma's, yeah. Wilma says she sees them. Yeah, so uh, can you pull them out? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Come on, Live TV, guys. Yeah. Okay, you want to find out? Yes, which one you got? The gray one. The gray one is a girl. Gray one is a girl. Yeah. All right. Okay, now the black one. Let's see. Where are you? Come here. Whoops. He's making noise. Okay. The black one? He's a boy. He's a boy? Yeah. All right. He's a boy. So the black one is a boy yeah. and the gray one is a girl. So I don't Can know. Put them back? Yeah, let's put them back. Let me see if I can get their face. Hold on a minute. With my shoulder, I'm having a hard time backing up. Ugh. Okay. Tough to get old. Let me zoom back in here. Get their face on camera. Eyes are open. Looks like the gray one has blue eyes. Oh yeah, he has blue eyes. She has blue eyes. And the black one looks like his, his head's a little bigger. His eyes are kinda open. So uh, let's get him back in the doghouse. I would imagine Sandy will move them again. <laughs> so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Sandy, why are you moving your puppies? You got such a nice doghouse up here. So I think they're two weeks, two weeks old. They look healthy. Yeah, let's keep them out for a little bit. Yeah. All right, so we'll do uh, 
a little thorough video of each puppy separately. This is the black one. Now he's got some brown. So uh, when he was in the doghouse, uh, he looked like he was all black, but he's got some brown. So black and brown. It's a boy. His eyes is open. His eyes looks uh, blue as well. We'll see if that changes. Looks healthy. He looks like he's bigger uh, as the, uh, the little girl. So we got to name this guy. <laughs> All right. So uh, just like uh, the first litter. So there's the face. So uh, think up of a real good catchy name for baby boy. And uh, we'll bring up uh, the little girl here in a minute. All right, here's puppy number two. Uh, the gray one's a little smaller, but I will say I think she's more active. Yeah. All the times I've looked at her, she's the one moving around the most. But uh, mommy just moved her, <laughs> both, both of them, to uh, under a rock. So you can see she's a little dirty, but she's got some real nice color and her eyes are blue. Beautiful little puppy. So there they are, one boy, one girl, two weeks old. If you guys want to adopt that face, let us know.